Okay, my name is Dr. Ondiko Samuel from Nigeria. I am presenting uh, effective communication as a policy for gaining access of hospital services by clients. By way of introduction from summary, health communication is essential in providing avenue for effective dissemination of health information in order to improve the healthcare delivery. Communication, by way of definition, is a professional activity of information exchange between two or more participants in order to convey or receive the intended meaning to share the system of science and the semantic rules. Therefore, communication in healthcare, hence, can be said to involve the study and practice of communication, uh, promotional health information, such as a public health campaign, health education, between the healthcare providers and the patients. Our uh, communication also is essential that it provides an avenue for effective dissemination of health information. You know, Brown in 2014 described it as a process of sharing information, thoughts, and feelings between people through speaking, writing, or body language. It was that the communication requires a sender, a message, a medium, and a recipient. So, although the receiver does not have the does not have to be present or aware of the sender's intent, so communication can occur across vast distances. So, according to the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, a trusting relationship with patients and their families is built on open, honest communication. Therefore, uh, hospital stays are shorter. When, and there is growing need for patients and their families to have more information about and involvement in care decisions. So according to Robin and George Millet, they observed that these barriers, they are barriers to effective communication, uh, which include information overload, language barriers, selective perception, use of inappropriate words such as jargons. This can actually cause communication barrier. Now, what is the problem statement? Okay. So, uh, problem statement. So, lack of effective communication between healthcare personnel and their clients in the hospital setting it impedes effective and efficient delivery of quality clinical and uh, healthcare services. This negatively affects the successful partnership in the hospital settings, you know, resulting to industrial disputes and things like that. Communication, a lack of communication skills between a healthcare provider and a patient reduces the patient capacity to follow uh, patient capacity to follow through with medical recommendations, self-manage a chronic medical condition and adopt preventive health behaviors. And lack of effective communication in healthcare can be from one of these if you see the chart on the screen, it can be the can be linguistic, physical, cultural, interpersonal, organization. All this can you know contribute to lack of uh, communication. Now, for this story, what are the methods used? The methods uh, used is a descriptive uh, processional study conducted in three secondary health facilities in the northern district of Kos River in Nigeria, which are General Hospital Ogoja. Catholic Hospital Munaya and then Sacred Heart Catholic Hospital in Obudu. The total population for the study is 20, uh, 2050 with sample size of uh, 335, determined using a Yamez formula, as you can see. Then uh, the Bolis uh, 1964 population and location formula was also used to determine the sample size per head facility. Where N small n represents the sample size, n has sample size per head facility, capital N H representing the total number of clients in each health facility, n representing a uh, total population size. You know, so data collection using a questionnaire and then a systematic sampling technique used, and uh, this data was analyzed using the statistical package for. Social Science SPSS. The results and discussions from the study out of 335 questionnaires, 
that were administered. We have 278 that responded to that. Then on the age group within these respondents, we only to 25, the major age group within the 25 to 34, that's the 29.5% and the age range. Then the majority of responders, they have a tertiary level of education, meaning that the questionnaires, they understood the questionnaire very well in this category. And this shows that most of us understand what communication is about, especially in health. So respondents agree to the fact that appropriate utilization of the right verbal and non-verbal communication techniques is key to ensuring effective communication and facilities. Subsequently, improving the quality of service as 39.9% uh, of the respondents say the healthcare personnel utilize verbal means of communication, while 53.6% said non-verbal communication. Hypothesis. Appropriate communication techniques support acceptance of health services by clients as this is supported, you know, as this, is, as this uh, information is supported by the American Hospital Association. From my study, 25.2% of respondents stated that they would like to change their health provider due to poor communication. You see, the need for this study. And also a computation of the probability values comparing various views of respondents on the quality of services indicates a value of uh, 0.32 which is greater than the scan value of 0.05 indicating there is no significant difference between the perception of clients and the quality of communication strategies offered by health providers. This proves I'm subsequently assessed in all hypothesis. These are my references. On the screen. So, in conclusion, in conclusion, from this study, you can see that effective communication is a set of services.